The climate crisis dominates the headlines in the media today. We are constantly being fed the narrative that we are failing in the fight against climate change and that the UN's sustainable development goals are unlikely to be achieved by 2030. We are Nick and Talia. And in collaboration with Startup Lounge Africa, we are embarking on a mission to tell the positive stories of sustainable innovation across the world by meeting some of the most innovative entrepreneurs in the sustainability space who are implementing solutions that their countries, regions and our planet require to thrive. And, most importantly, we want to show that if we get behind and scale up these innovations, we can, in fact, achieve the UN's SDGs. This is our sustainable world. Access to electricity has been one of the main drivers of human development. Without it, we couldn't have invented things like lighting or the television, we couldn't have travelled to the moon, and we wouldn't be able to watch the Our Sustainable World series. Now that's a scary thought. Whilst we're able to enjoy full access to electricity in the UK, there are some countries where large parts of the population have no access at all. But thanks to renewable energy solutions becoming more accessible, things are starting to change. We're on the shores of Lake Malawi to find out how ZAS Solar are bringing clean energy to the communities of the lake. We have seen a huge uptick of renewable energy technologies in Malawi. It's good and I like it. Yes, we are just starting, but the potential for growth is huge. Thousands of years ago, the first humans harnessed fire. Huddled around flames, they discovered a powerful source of warmth, light and protection. From this spark, our journey with energy began. For millennia, humans relied on wood fire for energy. But fast forward to the 1700s, the world was set ablaze by the Industrial Revolution. Coal-powered steam engines transformed industries, transport and cities. Then, the late 19th century brought us another game changer, electricity, when Thomas Edison switched on the world's first power plant in New York, illuminating an era of innovation and invention. By the 20th century, oil and natural gas were powering the globe, and by 1951, nuclear energy generated electricity for the first time. And now, in the 21st century, we are facing an energy revolution of our own, by harnessing energy that has travelled over 93 million miles to reach us. Solar technology is advancing faster than ever, promising a future where clean, sustainable energy can light up communities worldwide. And here, in Malawi, solar energy could be the spark in bringing electricity to the people of Malawi. One of the biggest challenges that we have had is, uh, as you have rightly said, access to energy is a big problem. The electrification access in Malawi is sitting at around uh, 19%. That's uh, about 12% on grid uh, electricity and uh, about 7% of grid electricity. You are not sure whether you are going to have a power supply. Basically, that's the, that's the bottom line. Uh, if you have got the power supply, an interrupted power supply for three days, four days, you count yourself very lucky during that period. But in most cases, you find that uh, uh, within possibly three days, you will not have power supply. In short, we can summarize Malawi as an energy poverty country. Something must be done. With a staggering 80% of the population living without access to energy, Malawi has one of the lowest electricity access rates in the world. But there is a movement of entrepreneurs trying to bring off-grid solutions to rural Malawians using one of its greatest resources, the sun. Uh, as you are aware, Malawi sits uh, in the tropics and our solar radiation uh, is very good. Uh, Malawi receives over uh, 2,000 uh, over 2,000 uh, kilowatt hours per square meter. So it's actually an ideal technology uh, for uh, helping people who need uh, energy. So as Zasola, we are 
an energy company uh, that is offering off-grid options. So uh, we have uh, solar home systems to start with for entry level uh, lighting and uh, phone charging needs. So we offer those products on cash and on pay as you go. What we have here is a solar panel system. So it comes to the stands. These are customizable. We can make for any sizes. So this is for demonstration. Uh, we use this to power directly uh, a water pump that uh, a small water pump can use. But how does access to electricity actually impact people and businesses in rural areas? We've travelled to Nkata Bay in the north of Malawi to meet with some of Zasolar's customers and to understand how access to energy has impacted their lives. It's about to show you uh, an experience. One of our customers who uses a solar home system is right next to where we're standing, this house right here. So come on in. Yes, there's a, a truth because he, for my friend, when he come here, they said, oh, it's very nice. Eh, eh, it's very nice. Who buy this one? Uh -huh. Yeah, so there's Joe, that my mother. Yeah, yes. So every month, I have money and there's pay for that money every time, every, every month. Um, I joined this school in 2022. By then, uh, this uh, facility did not have uh, solar. And uh, as we came in, it's when we planned with uh, uh, my fellow, the head teacher there, said, let's have uh, solar electricity so that uh, at least uh, it should accommodate these learners all the time. It is, um, it's actually helping a lot because as you know, the electricity always goes on and off, on and off. So when the, the electricity is off, we actually use the solar system. So it actually helps us a lot. Great. I just wanted to say thank you for installing those solar systems. It's, uh, it's helping us a lot. Our last stop on our journey in the north of Malawi takes us to meet Mr. Montwali, who runs a number of hotels in the area, one of which runs completely off of solar energy. So what happened when we started constructing Chatonda Beach Road was that uh, I did request, I, as I said, I started in January, and uh, around April, I requested for a quotation from uh, ESCO uh, for uh, a connection. Uh, the grid from where I am is about uh, 750 meters. And the, the quotation at that time, it was uh, $25,000. So I had to look for alternative source of energy. Uh, it's when now I started getting quotations. And the, from the quotations which I got, I found actually that uh, uh, it was cheaper to get uh, the power from uh, using solar than from using the grid. Our experience with Kashani and Zasolar has taught us how much access to electricity can positively impact people's lives and the potential that solar energy has to transform entire countries' electricity access. With all this potential, how do people feel about the future of this beautiful country? As a country Malawi, we have got again a vision, uh, Malawi 2063, uh, which would want to see Malawi as a uh, a wealthy, self-sustaining nation, and we can only achieve uh, our national aspirations as a country if we only uh, adopt and uh, uh, implement uh, sustainable uh, energy solutions. The numbers are increasing. Uh, the numbers of uh, products on the market is growing every day. So we are very optimistic. I'm very optimistic that uh, the set is growing. Yes, we are just starting but the potential for growth is huge. Maybe it may be too ambitious uh, goal, but we want to see Malawi moving toward that direction where every Malawi and Nagur 
this tool like. Vishani, what do you want for the future of Zasolar and the future of clean energy here in Malawi? Well, uh, we want to contribute to the premium access of electricity. Uh, the government through the uh, Malawi 2063 agenda think that we can uh, go towards 30 percent access we want to contribute to that but we think of course we can do more than that if we have to follow the uh, sustainable development goals as well which means i mean we should be driving towards 100 percent